There is one thing on which Jaron and I, I think, see a little bit differently. I don't think it actually ends up mattering in many cases, but I think Jaron's first inclination tends to be to talk about sort of the uniqueness of humans and sort of the have that really strong emphasis on sort of some level on Mago Dei and or as we would say in Hebrew, um, Selim Elohim. But I tend to have a little bit more primary emphasis on diversity certainly see the importance of humanity, but I also, you know, see things in nature, see things in potentially in machines or in complex human systems or whatever. Like I'm not as focused on sort of the human individual as like a focus in my mind as much. Um, and what I tend to resist about AI is sort of it's totalizing narrow singularity, like here's the thing attitude more than the fact that it challenges the Salam Elohim, you know. Yeah, I, I've also detected that disagreement, but I think the reason for it is a matter of, of our professions, our disciplines. So I'm a scientist and technologist, but the technologist part is what I really want to focus on for a second. Uh, be, you can't define technology without defining a beneficiary because otherwise there's nothing there. It just completely evaporates unless it's for something or somebody like you can't you can define math without a beneficiary abstractly you can define the quest for knowledge and science i think you can even define art as a kind of a art for its own sake thing like whether you should or not is different but you can do all those things but it's not even possible on any sensible basis to define technology without a beneficiary there's there's just no way to even talk about it it's gone technology is for doing something for some pur some purpose you know and so the question is, who's the beneficiary? Now, I think sometimes the beneficiary should be Gaia or the overall ecosystem of Earth. I'm not saying it's exclusively people, but in general, if you underemphasize the human being as a beneficiary of technology, you very, very, very quickly slip into technology for its own sake, which is never what it actually is. It's always technology for the sake of the giant ego of somebody who owns a big computer server. So it always, it turns into this kind of gilded aid, unsustainable ego trip by a few people who don't acknowledge it. So you have to define technology as being for people. You have to really emphasize the specialness of people in order for technology to even be defined. Like lose people, lose technology. It's, it, that, that, that's the only way. So I think that's the reason that we have this uh, different sensibility. Beauty at Work is brought to you by Templeton Religion Trust. If you enjoyed this clip, go check out the full episode. And please take a moment to subscribe and leave us a review. It really helps get the word out about the show. Thanks and see you next time.